Hello and welcome everybody in this new video tutorial. In this video, I will show you how to manage fees and how to handle the payment and the collections in Edu Happy Fees Management System. But before we go into the details, I'd like to give you a briefing on how the whole process works. So uh, I'm here in the admin portal and uh, in order to manage the fees, you need to go here in the left menu and you have the fees management here click on it you will have four items fee types structure payments and collection so first you need to define the fee types you need to add fee types in your system and these fee types are uh, like the tuition fees like the admission fees like the books uh, labs whatever whatever the fees that you want to charge the students or the parents uh, you need to add them here and then you need to go into the fee structure and build the the fee structure and when we talk about the structure we mean the the amount of each fees which is dependent on each school each academic year and each grade so the fee structure or the payment or the the amount that you want to collect from the student is dependent on these three uh, on these three items and then after uh, you build the structure now you are ready to record any payments in the system through the fee payments here and uh, last thing here is the fee collection which is the reports it gives you 360 a 360 degree view on the uh, collections and uh, gives you the reports that you need after you already collected the payments okay so let's start um first as i as you can see i'm here in the uh, create new fee types i just clicked on the fee types here this screen uh, is displayed so now you can add the new fee type in order to add new fee type you need to select the school give a fee a name and a description and specify the payment mode which is yearly or once maybe you want to collect uh, the uh, the payment once like the admission for example and maybe the payment is yearly like the tuition fees and then you need to de this define here the debit account and the credit account and what is that this is the integration with the financial accounting system because the any any financial transaction in edu happy is well integrated with the financial accounting system and this will make the life very easy on your accountant and on your finance department they don't need to record each and every transaction from papers to the system and instead of doing that we have made this integration in order to immediately reflect the financial transaction into the accounting books so here i click on the uh, debit account drop down list it's empty you can't you, you don't see anything here you don't see anything here so i need to go back in the financial accounting first and create these two uh, accounts the debit and credit accounts and then choose choose them from here uh, after i create them so back go be, go here in the financial accounting click on manage accounts the system will display this form so that you can create new ac financial accounts in order to create the financial accounts you need to choose the school and you need to choose the account category uh, of course this is uh, accounting details uh, the the best one to consult with is your uh, finance accounting department uh, but uh, for the demo purpose i will select asset here and create account name i will call this account cash account give it description any description and then click save of course you can choose whatever name you want i've just chosen this one and i think uh, most accountants are using the same terms an account uh, another account will be the account receivable okay so now i have created two accounts now i can go back to the fees management fees types if I check this one here, I have to choose the school first. If I check this one here, I I will find two accounts created. You can't, you cannot select the same account here and, and here. You have to select the debit account different than the credit account. Uh, very important to know that this is uh, completely optional. So if you don't need this to be integrated with your financial accounting, then just select any um, fake accounts and yani give give a fake debit and a credit accounts and then choose them and then 
uh, go on. Okay, so I choose here uh, the uh, school and I choose the uh, the debit account is the cash account and the credit account is the account receivable. And I will give a name here for the fees. I will call it tuition and the description, any description you want. And then select the mode of payment. I will click yearly and then click save. Now I have created the first fee type. Uh, we can go on and create another fee type like admission. And this time we will select once and we'll select the same debit and credit account. Click save. Maybe we can select another, um, another, um, fee type like uh, books. And then I will select cash here and account receivable here. Then now we have created three fee types just for demo purposes. You can see them once you click on the uh, school name here. You can see on the right uh, side here the three types uh, of the fee, the fee types that you have just created. If you want to edit any one of them, just click on edit here and then you can edit the fee types. This is the first step of uh, handling the fees in the system. Next, we will go into the fee structure. So once we have the fee types created, now we can build the fee structure. As I said, the fee structure is dependent on the school and the academic year and the grade. So for each grade, uh, the system will display how much for each fee type that we have just created in the first step. So you can add now the amount for each fee type. So, uh, and this will be different from school to school and from the academic year to another. So let's say we will add here in the grade one, the tuition fees, let's say 20,000. And the admission fees is, let's say, 1000 and the books, let's say 2000. Maybe in the grade two, the tuition fees will be higher, a bit higher. So let's put um, 24,000 admission fees, maybe 1200 and the books will be 2500. OK, and then click submit. That's it. You have created the structure for the 2021 academic year and the grade one and the grade two. So now the system knows how much uh, you need to collect from the student for each fee type here. If we select a different school year here, you will see that you need to add another amounts for each grade for each fee type. So let's say in 2021 or 2022, this academic year, maybe the fees will be higher by, by let's say, 10% or anything higher than the last year, last academic year. So maybe here will be 22,000. Admission will be 11, uh, 1100. And the books, let's say um, 1200. Any, anything you need to add here, maybe 25,000 here, uh, 200, the 24, uh, 2400. And then here we can add, let's say 300 and so on. Click submit. Then you now, now you have added the fee structure for the second academic year here, as you can see. So this is the fee structure. Once you have added the fee structure, now you can start collecting uh, the, the payments from the students. In order to collect the payment, you go here and click on fee payments. You just need to select the school name and the grade and the system will display who are the students under this grade? And next to each student, you can see here a pay button. So whenever you collected some amount from this student, you can click on pay. So the system will display the collection form here. And it will tell you now, this since this student is under grade one and under this academic year, then you need to collect these amounts from uh, this student in the tuition fees, in the admission fees, and in the books uh, as well. So now we, you need to start entering the accounts based on the collection, the real connections that is happened, that, that is taking place. So if uh, the student paid, let's say 1000 out of 20, then you can put here 1000. And uh, let's say the student have paid the 1000 admission fees, and maybe he only paid 1000 out of these 2000 uh, uh, for the books fee type. Then once you entered all this, you just click assign payment and generate receipt. Or if you want to give discount, you can put the discount here. If there is any fine, you can put it here and then click add payment and generate receipt. Now you can see that the system has uh, created 
or recorded this payment and generated the receipt with the number 115 so click close now you can go into the collection and see the reports so once you are here in the collection uh, fees fee collection you can select the school the academic year the grade and then you can uh, see what collection fees has uh, has been entered in the system so you can see that there is only one student here we have uh, collected money from and these are the amount that we have just entered as collections out of these amounts and there is no discount there is no fine and so on if and this is the receipt number if we if we want to access or uh, generate the report by the receipt you can click on the receipt here and you can click here 115 get receipt it will bring you the, the the student with that receipt with all the amounts entered uh, uh, in the system and what are the fee types all the breakdown is here if you want to get the collection by student you can click here on that button and then select the student you can see that this student has paid that much and uh, if that if for this student there is no payment and for this student also there is no payment if i go back in the payment here and i started to add some payment to other students let's say uh, on the same grade grade here i will select this student now and i will enter some payments here so here is the tuition the same 2000 but uh, let's say he will uh, pay 9000 this time we will apply discount so let's say we will apply 1000 and this is uh, amount not a percentage you need to note that and uh, we will let's say uh, he paid 600 out of 1000 and let's say he paid 400 out of the 2000 and let, let's say this time we will apply fine on this uh, 2000 so we will apply let's say 100 so he will pay 400 here and he will pay also this 100 amount as fine so let's generate the receipt now now the receipt is created with uh, receipt number 124 let's click here again and see what happened yes the system recorded that he has paid one uh, uh, he has paid 9000 and since there is a 1000 discount then the system the due will be two 20,000 minus 9,000 minus 1,000 which will be 10,000 so this is the due amount on this student now and since he paid 600 out of the 1,000 admission fees then the due amount is 400 and since he paid 400 out of the 2,000 here then the due amount should be 1 uh, 1600 but since he has a fine which is 100 then the due amount is now 1700 okay let's close this now and see uh, the collection go to the fee collections and let's see uh, the collection reports now after adding some uh, these amounts to this student so let's get collection by fee and now you have you can see that the, uh, the the report includes two students now not only one two students student one and student two and all the amounts that are paid for student two also here if we want to switch between the fee types it will show how much student one has paid and how much student two has paid and how much was the discount and the fine we can switch between the, the the fee types from here and you can see per fee type or if we want to get the report by the receipt we can click here and enter the report number the receipt number which is let's say for the second student was 124 so get receipt it's now the receipt for that student with that number and these are the breakdown of the fee types and the fee amounts and what have the student paid out of these amounts and the discounts and the fine everything if you want to get the uh, the report by the student we can click here and see that these are all the students if we want the student two then we can get the student two only and how much he this student has has paid so far 
this is the fees uh, management. Uh, we uh, covered all the uh, topics here in uh, in this fees management system. But before we uh, end this video, I want to show you the reflection of these payments and the fees on the financial accounting books. Because at the beginning of this video, we showed you that the fees management system is also integrated with the financial accounting system. So how this is integrated and how these transactions that we have just recorded on the system is reflected or are reflected into the financial accounting system. So we click here in financial accounting and go in the general ledger. Click on the general ledger item here. Select the school. Select the the take the account name which is we have two accounts the debit and the credit remember and uh, we will select the dates that we want the report the report to be shown so click get the general ledger report you can see here that we have these records already uh, recorded in the financial books in our financial books this is the transaction that we have done regarding student one this is the student one and these are the amounts that we uh, that this student has paid already and uh, this is the transactions for the second student it's already recorded here as well and all are recorded as debit because we are checking now the debit account which is the cash account if we want to check the account receivable which is the credit account we will see the same records but in the reverse order so you can see that the same records are here but uh, negative order under the credit under the credit column here that's it for uh, fees management i think covered uh, everything regarding the fees and the payments collections and the integration between the fees management and the financial accounting that's it for uh, today we'll uh, we'll cover other topics in more videos thank you thank you very much for watching and see you in another video